a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared is the Pythagorean theorem. But where does the formula come from? First, we create a right triangle with sides a, b, and c. Now, if we were to place similar shapes on each side of the triangle, we will always get a remarkable relationship. The sum of the areas of the two smaller shapes is always equal to the area of the larger shape. And there are many examples we can use, and they all hold factually true, even with very unique shapes. So, in order to show that the Pythagorean theorem works, we will demonstrate it with squares. Remember, the area of a square is side squared. So, from this, we get a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And by rearranging the shapes, we can see that this is true. Now, the Pythagorean theorem will always hold true as long as we always maintain a right triangle. So, there are many possible examples, and in every case, we can always be able to arrange the shapes to show that the Pythagorean theorem is true. Now, why does the Pythagorean theorem work? Remember, the angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. When we have a right triangle, we have an angle that is always 90 degrees. So, the remaining two angles must add up to 90 degrees to have a total of 180 degrees. Therefore, in every right triangle, the sum of the two smaller angles is always equal to the right angle. Now, in every shape, the angle determines the length of the line, which in turn determines the size of the shape. So, as we have seen before, the sum of the areas of the two smaller shapes is equal to the area of the larger shape, which is a direct result of the sum of the two smaller angles equal to the right angle. So, the Pythagorean theorem works with any set of similar shapes as long as we have a right triangle.